G'day, I'm Clive and welcome to CDP Outdoors. Today's video is about the Helicontex Mini Med Kit. Hey, the Mini Med Kit. Let's go through the specs first. Specification, weight is 101 grams. Dimension is 13.5 by 11 by four. Material is 100% nylon. And you've got different color options, black, coyote, brown, or shadow gray. So there may be more on their actual website, but I got this from a local supplier. It is a Molly system one, so you can set that for either your pack or your belt. So it's all pretty decent. At the top here, we've got a carabiner loop. So if you wanted to hang it on the outside of a pack, if you don't have a Molly, you could just sew your carabiner through and hang it onto a loop on your pack. We've got another one at the bottom here. The only thing I could think that could be used for is when it comes down to doing the zip back up because most pouches from Tasmanian Tiger or any decent company have little pulleys here to hold so when you pull the zip it makes it a lot easier so the zip on here I believe they are YKK zippers they work really 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 nice the actual zipper has got the dust shield which will help make it a little bit water resistant, not waterproof. You've got your hook and loop on the front here and I've actually stitched on your med symbol. And I've just got my blood group, which is A positive. Just a little hook and loop there, or your Velcro. And coming back to the zips, the pulleys are just some flat power cord with a little rubber grip bit there and a decent knot, just a nice size for opening and closing. So if you've got gloves on, it's gonna make it really easy. If I just use the whole hand, no trouble at all there. And I think these are made in, yep, crafted in Vietnam. So the actual quality of the stitching is all pretty good. I haven't seen any much better. It's nice and clean, some good strong thread by the looks of it. And going back to the, the width here, they say it is four centimetres from there to there. But as you can see, we it filled out, it's actually wider, it's closer to probably seven or eight. And the more you use any pouch, the more flexible the material comes, so it's easier to use and you can probably get just that little bit more in there. On the inside, the main bit. Got two mesh pockets. Again, with some zippers on, with a power cord. And they open and close really easy. So at the moment in this one, I haven't got my full basic uh, med kit in there, but I've got some gloves in there, some tape there. That's this one, it's the uh, com uh, conforming bandage in there. I could get more in there if I wanted to. I've got plenty more space to go. On this side, I've just got my basic fix them all for blisters, little swabs, some painkillers there if needed, some band-aids, more band-aids, some alcohol wipes, yep, cleaning wipes, some basic patches there eye patches and dressings but as you can see you could probably double the amount that's in there and I'll still be able to use it okay the reason I got these was my main med kit that goes inside my Bergen pack from Helicontex would fill the internal pocket out. 
and because that was filled out so much it was handy right at the top don't get me wrong but also it was in the way and if I did need to get to the actual med kits I'd have to go inside the pack and then struggle to get it out of that compartment if my pack's full just made it awkward it did so I bought these to go on the outside so what I'll do I'll move the camera now and I'll, I'll show you exactly how I attach this and what I use my second one for because I've got two I've got one on both sides let's lift this up okay so there is the second one and that's my snake bite kit in there and the snake bite kit inside and as you can see it's fairly tight but it's still a little bit more play in it I've added the Bob Cooper snake bite kit which is three compression bandages and I've also added in there a triangular bandage and as you can see I've got room to put the small pieces if I need to any extras but now I don't have to go inside the pack to the internal pocket to get my med kit or anything I need but again there's a the compression bandages Um, going by that loop on the bottom, that's trying to pull the zip up. If I hold the loop on the bottom, the zips just do up nice and easy. So that's that loop there. So I take it that's what that's for to hold that, so you can pull the zip up without the pack or without the pouch moving around. Now. On here, we only have one row of molly we uh, webbing, which in a way is a good thing, because all I'm going to do is run that down through this one and lock it back on itself. So between here and here, we'll be sitting on this. So I'll be able to lift the pouch up and down like this so I can still get into the pocket here and it won't be in the way so I'll show you how easy that is and I think this is going to look more difficult because I'm at an angle so you can see it on camera and normally I would have led this down flat to do it one thing I do want to show you is the webbing on the back of here the top ones are single but the bottom ones are double so what I'm going to do is I'm going to come through the top here between the two of them and then bring the actual this part here the stiffened part which holds it in place underneath the second one which is closer to the actual pouch Let's start with this side so I can see easier now this I remember was awkward getting it through because it was a bit tight Yep, yeah, see it is tight. Let's bend it over, tuck it in until it is tight. Right, I have to do this because I can't see what I'm doing over there. That's the first one through. I do the second one. Tuck it under between the second and the pouch, and it's gone in nice. That one went in a lot easier. The second one did. So you can see what I mean now. When that's on the side of the pack, it sits there. And if I want to get into the lower pocket or the sewn on pouch, what I'll do is lift that up and I've got full access to that pocket. So now I don't have to keep going all the way into the pack. Undoing it, undoing that bit. 
and this is the internal pouch I had it in. So now I can use this for something else. And what I've got in here at the moment is the Helicontex Vagabond, which is a sit pad or kneeling pad. And I'll show you that in a later video after I've used it a few times. And that fits, get it down in there, nice in that pouch. And as you can see, it's fairly flat, so it just sits out of the way. So I can still get into the, about, say about 75, 80% of the, the width of the pack there, or the depth of the pack. So, is it worth getting the two pouches? Yes. Are they decent pouches? I believe so. The quality is very good. All the stitching is good. The material, the quality of the material is good. And they call on the mini med kit, but you only get the pouch. There's nothing comes inside of them. So really they should have called it the mini med pouch, but it's called the mini med kit. And on both of them, as you can see, I've got the med. What I am looking for is a small, because that's about six centimeters that way, and we've got about three and a half, four this way, uh, a little, what should we call them, patch, with a snake on. So I've got my first aid kit on here, on this side, my basic, and I'll have one then for my snake bite kit. So if any of you guys know where I can get one with just a snake on it, like I said, about the four centimeters, uh, about six centimeters by four centimeters, which is roughly one and a half by two inches, say. Please let me know. So I hope this video has been informative for you and you found it useful. I've got an answer and across my hat here and my glasses. And if you haven't been to my channel before and you've enjoyed this video, please go down below and click on the subscribe button, click on the like button and click on the notification bell so you can be notified of all future videos coming up in the... So, and if you are already a subscriber, again, I thank you very much. So until next time, get out there, have some fun and take care.